Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And welcome to part one. Shin P Picker 1972 rear disc brake. It's a pretty special bike. 1972 was the last year for the P Picker, as well as the year they introduced the disc brake. So far, so good. Looks like it's packed really nice and tight. Everything is protected. So let's go ahead and get it out. Just want to make sure it was packed properly. And there she is, out of the box. Again, this is a 1972 P Picker. What's unique about this bike, again, is a 1972, which was the last year for the P Picker. They brought it out in 1969, and then 70 and 71, and then 72, they introduced the disc which this bike had and here's the rear rim and this one's going to need some work here so we'll definitely get that nice and functional and cleaned up here's the front 16 inch drum brakes on it and then here's the springer or the shock absorbing CC bar it's got all the original parts including the, the pedals as well as the stem, everything stamped 1972. Handlebar chrome was in really good shape. Got the brake levers. Wine men, they should definitely be able to polish nicely. This original picker seat is in mint condition. Got a little bit of wear right there, but that's expected. No tears. And the logo really is pretty pristine. So that right there in itself is a a nice item so again this bike will definitely go through the whole process take everything apart it's got some chrome opportunities here and there that I'll definitely be able to either fix or replace I actually have a fender that from the same year that I'm gonna be able to buy and put on here because this one looks like it's got a little bit of damage on it and then that chrome it's faded out right at the tip there so but other than that the Springer Ford looks pretty good all there. Uh, the Max Sprocket's in really clean shape. And then that chain guard, that screen looks really good. So that's, those are the key things right there. The chrome looks really good on it as well. So again, this bike is going to be pretty sweet once it's done. Again, all this is going to go in the evaporust, get rid of all that rust, clean up all that grease, wax the paint, and definitely make this thing look good. That post looks really clean. That seat post clamp looks good. There's the original stick shift decal on there. That looks pretty good. I'll leave it there. However, uh, this one right here is pretty chewed up, so I will replace that one. So, but it looks like uh, this bike again just needs some work. Again, I just got some initial grime off the bike. It was caked with grease back there. So I used to get some of that debris off, went ahead and cleaned it up a little bit and uh, starting to just put it together so I can make sure everything is there. Seat went on perfectly. And I am going to replace the cables. These cables appear to be replacement because there is one of the light gray ones in here which is the original and that's right here on the, you see the difference right there. So this one is the original brake cable but it's pretty chewed up. So we'll replace that. I already actually found the light gray cables that came on these bikes. The chrome on here, check it out. I was able to buff it out to some degree. So that spot that I thought the chrome was gone was just kind of blemished or something. I'm not sure what the deal is on it. You can still see a little bit of the discoloration there, but it's definitely chrome and it straightened out that little ding on there as well. So I still have that replacement that I could put on there, but for now I'd rather keep all original parts. Doesn't look too bad, so I'll go ahead and put that front wheel on it and uh, put her down and see uh, how she rolls. Alright, front wheel's on and that drum cleaned up nicely. Again, this is the original Superior tire that came on this bike in 1972 and it's pretty dry rotted. However, the thread on is still really good. 
there are replacements that look exactly alike, but they're not superior. And if you do find one of these, they sell for a pretty penny. So I'm going to keep this on it just to keep it very original. I'll wash it up a little bit more. Again, I went to the bike, uh, saw how the wheels and tires looked earlier. Just kind of took a little soapy water and clean off the, the raised letters and the uh, rubber on those sidewalls. And these slicks overall, you know, are pretty worn for sure. But they, uh, you see some dry rot there. And there are replacements you can put on it, which I will, I think, once I do the whole bike. But for now, that's how she's going to stand. I'm going to go ahead and put her down. All right, we're just all together now. So we'll go ahead and put her away for now. And on Monday, I have the white one coming, Cotton Picker. It was the last one I was able to pick up. So again, I want to get these bikes put away so I can assemble the next one and then get to them as soon as I can. But yeah, this bike, it looks like it's in really good shape. There's that fender. Looks like that doesn't look too bad after all. So I might be able to save that original part. I banged out some of the other little nicks as well. So, But overall the chrome seems to be in good shape. So I don't have to re-chrome or replace anything. These brake levers are pretty road rashed. But I can fix that. And uh, one thing that these bikes, you've probably seen some of these little protectors on these. Uh, you notice right there, that's from the fork when it turns it makes contact right there. So every crate you see is gonna have either a protector or a chunk of paint worn off from the, the fork hitting it. So that was probably a design flaw they didn't anticipate. Probably should have put some kind of protector on the fork or on the frame. And then this is typical from the cable rubbing from turning it. But again, I'm gonna go back over to this thing and take it completely apart, clean every little piece of crumb. For now, I took the major grime off of it just to put it away in somewhat of a clean condition but I'm pretty happy with it looks like we keep on moving and again the cotton picker will be the next one you'll see possibly by the end of the next week so I just want to get these videos out of these bikes so we can go ahead and and get to the other projects that are pending so hope you guys enjoy it stay tuned for the rest of the videos coming up here by the end of the year, I should have all six colors. Have a good one, guys.